Hello everyone, it's Simone and it has been a while since my last video and um, wow, I don't know how I thought starting a YouTube thing right before my craziest semester is a good plan, but it's all good. I mean, the plan was to just have fun, but and it has been a morning. Um, I already dropped my phone into the horse's water trough and now it doesn't let me charge my phone nor connect it anyways. So now I'm going a little bit more blindly because usually I can see what my camera is actually showing. Um, but I was really excited and I really wanted to do this and I thought it would be fun because I, a week ago, exactly a week ago, was at my first ever pen show. And I know it's a tiny pen show apparently compared to the real big ones, but it was the Scriptus in Toronto. And... Um, <clears throat> Um, and I wanted to just kind of share a little bit about my experience and how things went. And um, I'm going to show you what I, what goodies I have gotten. So the first thing, so let me think about this, is when I got there, it was super, super busy. And I was really overwhelmed. And I actually thought for a second, maybe I'm going to walk out there without anything because I just really couldn't think with all of those people around me. But then it started to calm down. And let me think here. So the very first thing that I think I decided, if that's correct, um, I found, and I don't remember, I apologize which booth this was, but that had a lot of Robert Oster inks. And um, and then I stumbled over this Romeo and Juliet ink. And I then looked it up. I actually for, didn't go impulsively and looked it up and then saw it was um, a, um, a special one just this fall. And I loved it. I looked it up and I loved it and um, I got it. So let's have a look at it. And so let me see how I want to do this. So I'm um, going to use... My really old Hobonichi here. Let me see. I'm hoping this is going to be visible. And this is just my thing. So it's Romeo and Juliet. It's in German. It's Romeo and Julia. So I tend to go with Romeo and Julia, but it's actually Juliet. Um, <clears throat> so let me see. Let me use my Kakimori brass pen. Dip it in here. And let's have a look at this. Ooh, so I think it's supposed to have, it's supposed to be like a dual chromatic, monochromatic, dual chromatic. Um, so you can kind of see, oh, this flows really nice. Oster, Romeo, and Juliet. It's very juicy. I like it flow. Sometimes with that brass pen, not everything is always kind of like, uh, running very smoothly off this pen but this really really kind of looks really nice so let's give this a try to see how it is going to look like once it's dried and then the other thing I wanted to do is um, well you can have a look at this now let's see if this is going to work if I can figure this out where my camera is, yes, so that's still wet. But I like this blue, it's like a blue-green. Oh, and now you can see there's like some pink coming through. It's really cool. It's kind of changing when it's drying. So let's give this, let's put this to the side. The other thing I wanted to do is create my little ink card here. So let me take some blanks, put this to the side. Everything is also a bit of a mess. When I get really stressed, everything is a bit of a mess in my life. So I'm going to use my um, Q-tip. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I know, I don't mind. Some people don't like using Q-tips. I actually think it works really well. Kind of feels nice and flowy. Wet, I guess, is the right term. I'm going to like doing some parts a little bit more intense. I did not prepare any scrap paper to put my things on. Let me write this down. I am all over the place. I have been so busy that my brain is not thinking straight. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um, this is kind of not how this is supposed to look. I often like to write my cards when I'm actually using the pen the first time. 
maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should just use the, the Q-tip and then wait until I actually fill a pen with it to write it down. Um, but it's gorgeous. I like it. So this was the first purchase I did and I'm really, I think I'm so excited to put it in a pen. I haven't put it in a pen yet, um, but that was the first thing. So let's see. We're looking at this now. Can you see that? You can see the different colors coming through, can you? It's really cool, actually. It's really nice. I love it. You can kind of see some pink, maybe. And then look at the... And we can look at this at the end again here. But look at the little thingies. It's so interesting. I love it. I think it's super interesting, the color. Like, the, the different... You can really see that it has a lot of character. I really like it. I'm looking forward to use it. So that was the first thing. Um, and then I absolutely knew that I really, really, really wanted to go to the Wonder Pens, um, our beloved Canadian Wonder Pens store in Toronto. Um, and they had a huge lineup, um, but it started to kind of like calm down a little bit. Um, and I saw so I stood in line and I knew because from subscribing for, from their blog and newsletter that they have, let me see in here, that they have two whoa, brand new dominant industry um, collaboration. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that. Sorry. Collaboration ink. Uh, let me, that was my surprise. There's like, they actually put a little, look at that. Oh, I love octopus. Oh my God. Isn't that brilliant? Um, a little, um, oh my God. Stick, no, nope. Don't know the English word. It's okay. Little something uh, that I put in my bag. I didn't see that. Anyways, so that they had two new dominant industry Wonder Pens exclusive inks, can I say it? And if you know or you have been following me, they have two other dominant industry or a collaboration with dominant industry with, um, um, oh my God, now I lost the words of the inks. Wow. Um, um, they're, the first two, let me put it that way, uh, were based on the color of their um, cats. I don't know if I actually have everything is lying around. No. Nope. So they have two store cats um, and one is like grayish and then one is like ginger. And so they have a ginger chicken, I think it's called. Is it called ginger chicken? Um, and tuna gray, I think. So are the two inks that are based on the color of the cats. And now they have these two new ones, and those are based on the eye color of the cats. And when I saw those, I just knew I had to have it. So the first one is called Tuna and Olives. I have not even opened this yet. So let's actually have a look at this. I haven't looked at this. So excited. Sorry. I have been so busy that I'm loving my little, whoa, my loving my little excitement here. So tuna and olives and then the dominant industry inks are always like in this really kind of nice little cute thing. And then look at the bottles. I just already love the bottle. So it's an exclusive with Wonder Pens called Tuna and Olives. So let's actually have a look at it. Let's see how this looks. So I'm going to open it. Whoops. And it's obviously tuna is their one cat. So that's the eye color of tuna, which is like an olive green. And it looks really nice. Um, so I think this is dry enough. Oh, I think there's still... Oh, that looks good. Okay. So let's see I have how this feels. Can you see this? Not sure. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this green. Look at this. Oh my god. And it flows really nice. Uh, dominant industry. And what did I say it's called? Tuna and olives. So yeah, it's kind of an olive green based on tuna's eye color. Isn't that just gorgeous? And I love, love, love. I love animals. I mean, I have two horses. Um, 
<coughs> so this is right up my alley. And look at that, it actually seems to have quite a bit of character. I really, really like this. I'm so curious to see this in action. This is really nice. Wow. 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 So cool. Ah, the little choice. Can't believe of sometimes how much pen and ink brings me joy. And now you can see the Romeo and Juliet. Can you see that pink coming through? I hope the camera can pick this up. And then you have the tuna and olives. It's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. No. Nope. There we go. That's what I want you to use to see. Perfect. Look at that. It's so nice. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Which is really like I was just kind of um, uh, saying to myself, I guess not, not just to myself, but because I have been so busy, I dropped like all of the things that are really helpful for me. And one of those is journaling and writing with my fountain pen. So I really haven't written as much as I like writing. And so I think having all of those new inks is just going to make me really want to write again because I really, really need it. I really need it for my brain to function properly. Um, and so look at that. So this is so cool. I'm so excited to be able to use those. So let me actually, I'm not going to write it down. That really didn't work that well with the brass pen. So I'm just going to leave it this, this. So this is the tuna and olives the dominant industry wonder pens exclusive amazing love it love it love it so nice okay then the other one is the chicken in the sky with diamonds and so that is based on their cat chicken and chickens eye color so let's look at this one let's open it up okay hmm. There we go. You know the drill. It's coming out of its little packages. And so again, I was like waiting in line at the Wonder Pens and I knew I wanted those inks. And so this, I am not disappointed so far. I'm very, very excited. So I'm still having to kind of um, wait for my Hobonichi here to dry. So let's do this ink swap thingy here first. So I'm going to use... Oh, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? It looks like such a fun color. Whew, let me see. So, okay, nice. This feels a little drier at the very first kind of go. Um, sometimes it doesn't one-on-one -on -one translate, but often it kind of does from doing those ink swaps to um, having a bit of a sense of how dry or wet the color is, but oh my God, look at this, oh God. <gasps> Sorry, this is absolutely stunning. This is stunning. The one thing I wonder about this one, we'll see, is how light it's gonna look in a smaller nib, but I usually use broad nibs anyway, so maybe I shouldn't be worried about it, but look at that, you can already see the different kind of like shadings develop. It's so cool, okay. So let's have a look how this looks on the Hobonichi paper here, on the Hobonichi paper, on the Tomoyo River paper. And I'm going to keep bugging you with this, but now can you see when it's dried, you can really see the pink coming through, which is so cool, actually. You see that? And let me see if I can. It's really kind of coming through here, the pink. And then we have the tuna and olives. It's such a nice green. I love this green. Okay, but let's look at the... Um, um, what is it called? Chicken in the sky with diamonds. I need my brass pen. Let me dry this off. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. This is like Simone unfiltered. It's all good. I'm doing this for fun, right? Oh. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Interesting. I like it. It's really quite interesting. So this is... Dominant. Actually, no, this flows quite nice on here. Industry. Chicken in the sky. And if you are... Many people in my life say they cannot write ever my handwriting. I don't think it's that bad, but, you know. Um, there we go. Oh, that's actually also... Look at that. It seems to also have lots of character and be quite... So if you have never written with the Krakimori brass pen, it, one of the things is so cool, you can really do those 
differently thick lines depending on how you're holding the pen. So it's I really like it to kind of get an idea of the character of the ink. Really nice, really nice. Yeah, this I like this, one. and I can totally see if you know that the cat. This is kind of a stunning representation of a cat eye color. This is really cool. Okay, so um, those were, okay, so we had the Robert Oster ink. That was kind of the first thing I committed to. And then it kind of like, I was like, okay, I just need to go to the dominant industry booth, uh, dominant, oh my God, Wonder Pens booth, stand in line, and then I knew I'm gonna grab um, those inks. But then, whoops, let me actually show this. Look at that. Really, really cool. Really cool. Really, really neat. Um, and then when I was at the Wonder Pens store booth at the Pen Show in Toronto, um, I grabbed the two inks and then I spotted their pens. And I knew they had a new Franklin Christoph exclusive. Actually, if I can find this, and I think I have shown this one before. Man, it's of course not right where I think it is. Now I can't easily show it to you. Oh, that's too bad. But I have their other exclusive Franklin Christoph collaboration pen, and they have a new one, which is kind of like a brownish, ginger brownish color. And I was very close to get that one, but I knew they're going to sell it on their online store and I'm in Canada, so it's really easy to order it from there. And it actually, it looked gorgeous in person. I really, really liked how it looked. But then what I spotted is some other Franklin Christoph pens that they had. And, um, and look at that. I love the little Franklin Christoph um, baggies. And um, so this is the card. It says, um, thank you for selecting a Franklin Christoph writing instrument. We have been honored to serve you. This is backed by guarantee of lifetime warranty against mechanical defect. Go to franklinchristoph.com, FCT member. And I think that is Audrey Maddie Mary. I, I know I have seen her name written because I think she's one of the nib grinders there. And so the one, and I was standing at the Wonder Pen booth for so long because I couldn't decide but what I got is this look at this look at this this is so gorgeous and it's a so let me open this up so it's a turn and look at the little yellow can you see this look at this so they had a few and then it's like the little the bottom part here can you see this it's kind of heavier and then the yellow and then the yellow tip, I hope you can see this because I don't see what I'm doing. There we go. Right, so we have the yellow tip, we have the yellow pop. And they had a few of those. They also had, I think, a blue one and an orange one maybe, like with different kind of like body and then color. And I think, again, I was really overwhelmed. My brain wasn't working really well. Um, they said it's a prototype, like a Franklin Christoph prototype. And now the model is a 31. So it's the model 31. Um, it's, as I said, like it's screws. So I have some Franklin Christoph that are pull, but this one's screws. It has like a clip. Um, it has a broad nib. And it has, I haven't used this one yet, and it has a converter. <coughs> <clears throat> apologies so but I was so long took me so long to decide <coughs> um, but then I, I just couldn't resist I love this gray with the yellow um, and so yeah I really really am looking forward to use it so to, as a comparison so I just thought Twispy is a pen that most people know so it's a little shorter then the twist Eco. If we're uncapping it, whoops. Yeah, look at that. It's almost a little short. Well, it's about the same. It's about the same. And it has a really nice, nice section here. I like it. I think that's going to work really well for my hand. It feels really nice and smooth. There's like a little grip here, which I get. No, that doesn't matter. That's, 
that would, I would not want to use this post-it that doesn't use really work really well. Um, I haven't inked it up yet, um, so I will definitely add it soon to my rotation, but I'm very excited. It's such a gorgeous. And I really have loved, or have so far, I love my Franklin Christoph pens, so I don't see why this one wouldn't work really well. Um, so again, it's a Model 31, and I think they said it's a prototype. So I, I think, I don't know. Can anyone? I don't know. I think that means there aren't that many of this same kind. Uh, but I feel like I have seen a similar one somewhere. But yes, and I couldn't resist. And then I was able to resist their um, collaboration pen, but I might eventually have to order that one. And then it started to kind of slow down a little bit there in terms of like less people. And I started to kind of find my courage and got more and more into it um, and was kind of perusing and, and looking at more places. And then I thought, you know what, I should probably head out and um, go home. But then I came by, um, let me see here, I came by the I have a card oh my God, I have now I am always worried that I video such long videos no one is going to watch long videos but here we are it's all good the penablers.ca booth I have never heard of them uh, I was kind of on my way out and then what caught my eye was that they had Birmingham inks and I always wanted to try Birmingham inks and I just didn't know where in Canada to get them and there they were. They didn't have any samples left. And I was fried. My brain was done. So I was like standing there and like, I just want to try some of those Burning Mimiham inks. And so I don't entirely even know what I got and why. It was really at that point of like, I just want some. And I was trying to look at their samples and I was trying to look at the bottles they have left. And my brain really could not compute what I was looking at. So let me see what I actually got. So the one that I got, this one I had already opened because I was curious, it's called Kingfisher. And then I saw that at home, it says wishy-washy. And I had no idea what that means. I looked it up and it's their line of delicate inks, I guess, so that they recommend for like vintage pens, for example, that are easily washable from all surfaces. Um, but I have no idea how it's gonna feel in a pen. So, I mean, it's a bottle, so, you know, but I was kind of, again, I was at that stage of like, I just want to try it. I couldn't think very straight. So let me, oh, look at that. Okay. Let me look at the Birmingham ink, but first I'm going to show you that dominant industry chicken in the sky with diamonds. Look at that. This also has so much character. So, so far, very impressed by the inks I have selected. Look at that. Look, look, look. This one, the Robert Oster, Julia, it really reminds me of... Um, uh, Maniokoke, is that what it's called? Um, which I also love, love. Um, so really nice. So, But let's look at this Birmingham ink. Uh, again, I have never used a Birmingham ink before. I just keep hearing about people really liking them. But let's see. I'm a little worried maybe about the wish. I thought that it's a little bit too light. I like kind of like bolder colors. So let's see what that does. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is actually quite nice. Oh, and really fl quite flowing quite well. Really flowing well. Whoops, I hope you can see that. This is really, really flowing nicely. So this is Birmingham. Ink Pen Company Ink. Well, I'm just going to call it Birmingham Ink, sorry. Kingfisher, look at that blue though. Oh, and look how it, blah, sorry. It just, it flows dreamily. Really, really, really nice. Really nice. Okay, so maybe, maybe I should be very excited about this and not concerned about my uh, really kind of brain dead uh, choice because I really like what I'm seeing here. So let's see how it looks on here. Let me grab my Q-tip. Yeah, okay, also maybe, uh, 
I mean, it flowed really nicely on the Tomoe River paper. Flows a little less well here, but I mean, that's kind of expected. But look at that blue. I love my blues. Sorry, this looks really nice. Um, yeah, very, very curious to try this in a pen. Haven't tried it in a pen. But look at that blue. This is really, I like it because it's kind of sometimes the blue blackish when they kind of, they get a little boring for me, but this still has like quite a bit of punch, quite a lot of character. Um, really interesting, really interesting. And then let's look at the still drying here. Uh, but that looks really nice. Actually, when it's drying, talk about that diamond uh, chicken in the sky with diamonds. Look at that shading. Now it's coming out. That's dramatic. Wow. So that's the dominant industry, chicken in the sky with diamond. Really, really gorgeous shading. Wow. Okay. And then the second one I got from the Birmingham Inks. I hope you have no, you not fallen asleep yet listening to this long, long, long video. Uh, maybe I'm saying that because I have never patience for long videos, but okay. So this one is Sea Glass Twinkle, again from Birmingham Pen Co. from Pittsburgh. And then you can see, look at that, you can see the shimmer. You see all the shimmer at the bottom. Good. So let's give this a shake. I actually, I was surprised because at some of the booths that I was standing, they were kind of like very surprised that I like shimmerings. I don't know, maybe I have to write pens, but I usually haven't really struggled that much with shimmerings. Maybe I, okay, but this one, who? This really shimmer is stuck at the bottom here. Very, very nice. So let's actually use the other side here because I don't think that's entirely dry. Okay, whoa, sea glass twinkle with shimmer. Um, let's be fast enough here before we're losing all the shimmer. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I can see this shimmer. Birmingham. Okay, can you see this? I don't know where I'm at. Um, sea glass. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting because this is almost a little bit too dark of a blue for me, but maybe with that shimmer, this will absolutely give it character. I kind of usually like my blues, like the Kingfisher blues, a little bit better. Again, I was fried. I should also, I also for the whole week before the script this was, I thought I'm going to be too busy and exhausted to go. So I really didn't plan at all, um, which probably was not the best plan. But I was in the end, I was proud of going and I never regretted it. I'm so glad I went. Um, it, again, it did take me a little bit to get into it. But once I got into it, I was really into it. <laughs> um yeah, I just kind of like, I think the first time and then so many people, I haven't been around that many people since COVID. And it's like, I don't know, it was just a lot. And then all of the impressions and all of the people. And, but then, yeah, once I kind of, I, I went around once to just kind of get an impression. Then I took a break for quite a bit and then it slowed down. Um, and it had slowed down and then I kind of went around again to just, you know, uh, knowing a little bit more what I was looking for and that really helped so wow okay this is very shimmery oh, oh, oh look at that wow okay this is going to be interesting if that's going to flow in a pen I will be strategic but it's fun look at all of those colors coming out can you see that there's so many I don't know if you can see there's like purple and pinks and all sorts of things kind of coming through here really a lot of character you can kind of see it here that's really kind of stunning. Really interesting. Very interesting. A little dark. So maybe out of all of the ones that I got, maybe on the first glance, my least favorite. So let's see. We had the... Um, I'm sorry I didn't write on it, but it just didn't work that well. And again, I'm not the most organized right now. So we had the Robert Oster, Romeo and Juliet. Love, love, love. Again, really reminds me of Monyokoke. I think it's Monyokoke, right? Yes. Uh, yes, now it's going to... Someone correct me, but I think it is. This is the Tuna and Olives, Dominant Industry. I like it too. Not as like, oh my God, wow. But I think it's going to be a really nice, solid ink to use. 
And then I love this one. I'm really curious. So this is the Dominant Industry Wonder Pants exclusive Chicken in the Sky with Diamonds. And then this wows me. This is a blue I love. So this is the Birmingham Co. Kingfisher. And then this is the Birmingham Co. Sea Glass Twinkle, which, yeah, I'm not so sure. This is the biggest bottle I got. No, I think maybe. Um, let me see here. So, um, and I was kind of really excited about that Sea Glass Twinkle, but now when I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm. I hope this is a great idea. This is not going to roll around. Okay. You see that? Oh my god, and then the rubber duster. So that's how this is. Um, yeah, but I mean maybe trying it in a in a pen. Um yeah, just the first mm, so the first impression maybe maybe a little mm. okay. We have the kingfisher, love it, love it. The chicken in the sky, absolutely love it. There also seems to be some pink coming through. Robert Doster, absolutely love it. I actually, two hundred dollars is really nice. It's just not like, oh my god, um, but it seems very well behaved, and I'm really very much looking forward to use this one. And then, as I said, I was already on my way out. <laughs> you can see where this is going. And then decided there was actually another section that I really have only been at when it was super busy and I couldn't see anything. And it was almost closing time and I was like, I should just go. And then I was like, let me just go down there and have a quick look. Well, this happened. And at that point, I was definitely over my budget. I was so certain at the beginning when I got there, I'm like, oh, this is going to be easy to not overspend because I can't think. Yeah, anyways, so this one, and I was desperately trying to find the little card and I couldn't, um, otherwise I would show you. But the company is London Pen Co. But it's London, Ontario, Canada, but London, like the UK, London and Pen Co. And they make their pens and look. Oh my god, so I am so excited. So this was really a last minute splurge and I have been excited about this ever since. Look at this. Look, this is my first ever hand turned pen, I think it's what they call it, at least like from an independent pen maker, my first pen from an independent pen maker. Look at the sparkles. Look how fun. I love, love, love those colors. Let me see if you can see this. Uh, look at those colors. It's so pretty, pretty. And it feels really nice. It's like, doesn't have a clip. I actually like clipless pens. So can you see this? I'm trying to okay, get you the sense here of this. And um, in terms of sizing, let me try my Twispy Eco. It's definitely smaller. Um, so this is their model... Christopher 13. It is Christopher. I think it's Christopher. Um, but it's definitely the 13. I know it's the 13. Um, it's definitely bigger. I love bigger pens. It has a screw on top. It has a Yobo number six nib and it's a broad. I haven't inked it up yet, but they did... Um, dip it for me and I got to try and it feels really nice. The pen, look at it, it feels so nice in my hand. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be curious writing with it. Um, the, I could almost maybe do with the section just a little bit broader. It's nice and broad here and then it goes a little smaller here. Um, sometimes I get my hand cramps up a little bit, but otherwise the size is really perfect. I really like it. Uh, let's look in terms of sizing if we're opening it up. Yeah, you can definitely see it's definitely bigger than the Twisby Eco. It has definitely a much bigger nib. You can see this. And it also has, yeah, like it definitely has a wider section. Eh, narrow. Twisby has a narrower section. And so this feels really nice. It has um, a, oh, that's quite many turns. Holy cartridge converter, which I actually really like. Um, 
you can easily replace the nib. It's just a Yovo number six. It definitely turns and turns and turns. Um, I like the sparkles. I like the like the colors. It's just really. I mean, I guess you can see, right? You can see where my favorite colors are. It's all like in line here. It also has few turns. And um, I, again, I haven't actually used it yet, but this was kind of like my la last moment before closing effort. And they actually also um, gave me a little uh, pen sleeve. Um, I think it was the end of the day. Um, it's a rickshaw. Um, I mean, it's not... <laughs> oh yeah, London Penco. So it's actually oh, I see. Um, it has the nice fleece inside, um, and this fits pretty nicely. So that is it. And I think, what else is there? Oh, I think for so the place where um, I got the um, Birmingham inks from, um, they had gave me a little pendant here with like a little crab. Um, and actually, so the penablers.ca website, um, they actually sell Birming Birmingham samples and they also have Van Diemen inks so these are inks that I didn't know we can get in Canada so if you're looking for inks like that that's definitely a good place to um, check out so that is concluding my first very long video but I was really excited and I really wanted to show you um, my haul from my first experience at a pen show oh you can't see great I was like moving all of this and now you can't see there we go so I guess, well, it's not going to fit. It's just not going to fit. Well, it fits. Okay. This is when I have lost everyone watching by trying to make this all fit. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. So these are the two pens, my inks, and a very happy, very happy, happy Simone, which is definitely helping me a little bit through this extremely stressful time. And I'm really hoping to get back into writing, inking up some of those pens. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, for everyone who actually made it so far. Um, and I'm hoping you kind of enjoyed some of this. Have a good day.